Almost everybody goes shopping sometimes, and so you have probably noticed those mysterious square stickers on the items. They are usually white, sometimes black, and they are completely everywhere. But what they actually are and what is their purpose? Those are part of so-called electronic article surveillance, which basically is intended against shoplifting. There are three different types of them commonly in use, but the purpose is always the same. When you are stealing something, it will just trigger alarm. And the other part of the system are those antennas or coils, which you have probably seen because they are in every shop and you always have to pass in between of them when you are leaving the shop. And if you are trying to steal something, for example this battery, you just go, go, go and beep, 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 beep. And what actually triggers the alarm is this square sticker. And they are usually not easy to remove, but this one is on a transparent layer, so we can see it from the other side. And here you can see a coil in it. And this looks like a spot weld, and this one in the center actually is a capacitor. So it basically is an LC resonant circuit with a coil and a capacitor. It's constructed just like a circuit board with two layers. One layer is silver and the other layer is green. And this is where the layers are connected. And here the layers are separated by a thin layer of insulation. So the antenna is transmitting a signal. This signal will make the circuit resonate and it will send the signal back. This will be detected and it will trigger the alarm. So the transmitter will send an impulse on the resonant frequency of this circuit. The circuit will start to resonate and this resonance will continue even after this impulse. And this is actually what's being detected. And the standard resonance frequency of this circuit is 8.2 MHz. But because this simple circuit is probably not very accurate, the transmitter probably has to sweep the frequency a little bit. The next question is why those tags don't activate alarm after you have paid the item. When those tags go through the cashier, they are being deactivated by applying a very strong signal, which will basically destroy the capacitor. When you take a look at this one, you can see a spot on it, and this means the capacitor is shorted. So this tag has been deactivated. During the deactivation, a very strong signal is applied, it will induce a high voltage in the capacitor and the insulation will break down. The deactivation system is usually built into the barcode scanner, so the deactivation happens when the barcode is being scanned. Beep! But sometimes the system fails to deactivate it and later it triggers the alarm. I was trying to measure the resonant frequency of this one, so I have built a very simple makeshift circuit with an oscillator which can be tuned from 5 to 10 MHz, a resistor, a coil and indication LED. I will put this one to the coil and I will try to tune the oscillator until I will see some change in the brightness of the LED. So this is my makeshift circuit with an oscillator, tuning knob, indication LED, coil and a frequency meter. Unfortunately most of the tags are already deactivated and they don't work. Except this one which is still active. I will put it to the coil and I will tune the oscillator. And there is one sharp point where the LED goes out. And at this point it's in a resonance. And now the resonance frequency is 8.65 MHz. And this is quite close to the nominal 8.2 MHz. And now my circuit is able to detect the tag. When the tag is in resonance, it steals the power from the LED. The deactivated tags are not being detected. Only this active one is being detected. And the resonance frequency is probably not very accurate because just by bending it you are changing the shape and diameter of the coil and thus its inductance. And by pressing it you are changing the spacing of the capacitor plates. 
So the detection circuit must have quite a tolerance. And do you know when the chicken beeps for the last time? Yes, it's when it's going through the cashier. Beep! So this is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.